Joanne Doyle. 93% of the public vote was going for Joanne. Another team Fulinkazan. Fulinkazan. Yep. Fulinkazan. Fighter from Bradford. Nice gym. They do uh, gi grappling, embrace the old school jiu-jitsu, and they also do quite a lot of Muay Thai. She's had two, two teammates fight on the show so far. We had Jamal Raja. He got a very excellent multi-talented victory there against J Jack Drake earlier on. Just showed the, the sheer capability of Team Fulikinzan when it comes to MMA, striking, clinching, takedowns. A real mix of ability there. Let's see if Joanne Doyle, which I'm sure she, she does, have those skills as well. What she can apply to this really excellent night of fights that we've had here in Birmingham. I'm excited for this fight. These, both these girls are already up and coming. 66 kilos and a stacked division for women. And uh, does anyone fight this? It could be a real war. Could be fight of the night we could be looking at here. Battery in the 39. We are at Edge Baston Stadium, the famous cricket ground. We are here. We are in the conference center. The changing rooms for the fighters overlook the cricket ground. The changing rooms are the VIP rooms at Edgebaston. This is an amazing venue to have this kind of event. Alice Stewartson representing Impact MMA. It's going to be. We've had a few Impact MMA. Fighters on this card with the young guy earlier and yeah, um, Jack Drake fight Jamal Jack Raja. Drake so this is a well. repeat team versus team. Team Fu and Kazan against Impact MMA. Impact MMA getting their chance at redemption against Team Fu and Kazan. Can Alice Stewartson be that realization today? I've seen Al Alice Stewartson fight before, I believe. Good. Very talented fighter, very well rounded and uh, from a really good gym as well. We've seen uh, Impact MMA. Well, the fighters always coming prepared, always ready. And it's just uh, such a great venue to have such a fight like this. And Battle Arena as a show has grown so much. We're on the 39th Battle Arena show. And we have the best uh, team. We have the best referees. We have the best crew, the best runners. We have some of the best fighters. We've had world titles on this show. And we have the best commentators. What we really have is we have the best fans, ladies and gentlemen. It's you folks that make these shows what they are. You ask us what we want, what we want to provide to you, and we give it to you. So you keep it up there, fans. Alice looking very comfortable there, big smile for the camera. Yeah, big smile, she's looking in great shape right now. They're both looking in Oh, oh big, excellent over under throw there. And what a water reversal, a big hip toss and then that's often the problem with judo, all those judo throws. People are fighting for the ippon, fighting for the point, but they forget the momentum. And in MMA, you just keep that momentum going, and all of a sudden, the person that got thrown ends up on top. Also, I hate to say this from a wrestling standpoint, but that head and arm throw is useless in MMA and submission grappling, because you tend to give up your back, unless they roll you through, like Joanne Doyle did just there to Alice Stewartson. So Alice on the bottom here in half guard. She looking to try to roll and try to explode up, but she ends up giving up that mounted position. This is an A-class fight, so we do have strikes to the head, unlike the earlier fight that we had between our two female competitors. Unless, maybe it is B-class. Nope. Because she's punching, yep, it's B-class. Otherwise, she would have been punching her in the head. <laughs> Apologies to you folks there. But it was A-class on our cards, but you gotta understand that your face is your money maker. Eyes are the windows to the soul. And it's not always good to get that thing messed up. So Alice Stewartson on the bottom, fighting what? desperately to regain some sort of half guard or guard position, while Joanne Doyle hopefully looks to set up some submissions. She's trying to pop that elbow out, maybe looking for a S mount. 
for a arm triangle. Looking for a high mount, looking to control uh, Alice's left arm. She keeps using grapevines as well, maintaining that position, but Alice is doing a good job of trying to escape the position, trying to work her way out. It's the problem when we're not hitting the head, it can be quite hard to uh, do much damage from this mount position. If I was doing no head shots, I would be stick with side control, control that position and work from there. But Joanne's doing such a good job, such good top pressures, wide hips. And now great vines as well, really controlling her. She's got to really start, I mean, punching someone in the shoulder is probably not going to be too effective. She's got to start really setting up some submissions, make some space, isolate an arm. And she's doing that now, pushing the head. And Alice has got to be careful. She's, she is giving arms. And, oh, I think Joanne is trying to set up a triangle. She's stepped over, and there it is. She's got it. She's got to control her own ankle, grab her ankle, she's and then She's going to grab her foot just like that, just like you called it, Steve. And now she's going to... Will she try and finish it from out, or will she roll to her back to try and finish it? This is an excellent position. Rolling to the back is stronger. She's pushing that arm over to the side, trying to use Alice Stewartson's own arm That was a very, smother. very slick setup, stepping over the arm from out. It's a high-level jiu-jitsu. She can also take the arm bar there. It's a possibility there. The crowd is cheering, but that might make it worse for Alice. But Alice got out, but then Joanne switched to the arm bar, just like you said, Steve. Ten seconds to go. Will she tap? This is so close to the end of the round. What Alice needs to do is push in, not pull out, and it will bend her arm in a safe direction. Oh, wow. very close. Down to the last moment there. Some really slick submission skills from Joanne Doyle. Just incredible. Awesome transition from that triangle to arm bar there. It was available a little bit earlier, but I think Joanne was really invested in that, in that triangle. And I don't know about you, Chris, but I have a really hard time fishing triangles from mount position. She was trying to do the right thing by rolling to her back. And uh, I think it was a very slick setup. That like she had a really great mount using great vine. She was looking for a high mount, then she looked for an armbar, and then she saw the triangle opportunity, pushed as his left hand to the floor, stepped her leg over, got that triangle position, and then looked like she was rolling to it. Like you said, Steve, often when you get that triangle, you roll to your back to finish it from uh, underneath, because it is easier to finish a triangle choke from underneath where you can get that angle, but you can finish it from mount as well. And it was a very dominating performance of Joanne, really showing a grappling uh, pedigree. And we've seen a little bit from the Impact MMA guys. Some of their fighters earlier looked a little bit weak in spots on the floor, and um, we're possibly seeing that again from Alice. Yeah, Alice had the takedown there, and she pretty much put herself in the world. Great and strikes, though, from big Alice. Big right hand coming out the, back, out the gate. Alice clearly wants to keep this on the feet. She's landing some great shots. I don't think Joanne liked that at all. She didn't like that punch. Now Joanne's looking to close the distance and possibly get a takedown of her own. Alice is doing, trying to control the head a bit. She needs to get heavy on that head to try to prevent the takedown from Joanne Doyle. If Joanne Doyle can lock her hands and step her body a little bit more to the right hand, to her right hand side. She'll be able to finish this double leg. Might be able to do it anyway because ladies do have that low center of gravity they can use and she pulls it out and trips it out. Very good. Now she's on top again as Joanne Doyle with Alice Stewart Stewartson looking to react from the bottom. But will Joanne be as dominating on this round? And it's a little bit awkward when you're trying to work some jiu-jitsu positions against the fence. Alice is kind of being propped up by the fence. She might be able to use that to get back to her feet. Pull it uh, cage walking when you kind of walk your shoulders up against the the cage so you can get back over to her feet. Just as you call it, Chris, she tries to get her feet underneath her and walk up the cage, which she's doing. And Joanne is still holding those legs, trying to stop her, prevent her from getting back to her feet. And what Joanne's going to try and do is pull her legs out, but Alice has got back to her feet and a lovely power underhook there. Power underhook and Stewardson puts a knee on the end of it. Oh, Alice is looking for a guillotine. It might not be the smartest thing to do, especially in the striking stages. She seemed to have the a little bit of advantage over Joanne. Maybe she could just look to separate. Yeah, hard now as Joanne looks to drop in for another single or double leg. Oh, she might be under the chin though. I don't it's hard from half guard. Yeah, she's not getting any real p pressure on the hips, being able to extend Joanne Doyle out and finish that choke. She's just really holding on to a headlock position right now. Alice Stewartson probably going to have to give that up momentarily. Oh, this is the problem with the 
hanging on her neck and not thinking about the position. All of a sudden, uh, Joanne Doyle, although her head's still stuck, has got to mount. What she needs to do is step to side control on the other side, the side of her head it isn't, and then she'll be perfectly safe from the choke, and she'll be able to get like a Von Flew position to pressure her head out. Oh, good point. She put some pressure down on the head and was able to pass. And now she's looking to soften up the body with a few strikes and then maybe set up that submission game again. We're seeing that look, that grimace on the face of Alice Stewart, and she's obviously a little bit frustrated, a little bit flustered maybe with Joanne Doyle's grappling pedigree. And now in the second round here, it's looking like Joanne Doyle's going to finish on top. As you said, Chris, it's looking like Alice Stewart Stewartson's only real path to victory is being able to keep it standing. So I'm wondering how Impact MMA corner men are going to get that message through to her after two rounds of essentially being dominated in the grapple. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, yeah, Alice a little bit more footwork. And uh, I think she was the one that instigated the tie up on that round. And it's not working for Joanna is clearly a slightly higher level uh, grappler. So, but Alice has looked really and the little brief bit of uh, striking we've seen, she landed a great straight right. I think there's a leg kick as well. But, um, I think Alice's best shot of. She's got to cut, she's two rounds down, she's got to throw caution to the wind, she's got to throw some power shots and then use that footwork to get away whenever Joanna's looking for that takedown. Yep, evade and counter, evade and strike. That's the name of the game for Alice Stewartson in this third and final round of our lap final female bout of the evening. Joanne Doyle looking to come out like a steam train and probably establish those takedowns again. I've been very impressed with Joanne's takedowns. Very smooth, and then as soon as it hits the floor, she's very dominant, really good top pressure. Yeah, always looking to pass, always looking for what's there. There we go. Alice, Alice Stewart. Keep your back off there the There we kill. go. She's moving well, and she allows the clinch. She needs to fight for those underhooks and try to establish space again. Nick Doyle's so, so clever. She's looking to drop them below the hips again and look for the takedown. Our viewers might not realize this is a much smaller cage than you would see in the UFC. And that actually lends itself to someone like Joanna Doyle, who wants to close the distance and get the takedown, because it means Alice doesn't have much space to keep, use her footwork and keep away. So it is a little advantage for the grappler. Very little backpedaling is available, you're right. Alice is really, really favoring that power underhook, but it's not... It's not working for her right now. She needs to abandon that post with her right hand and wall walk like she's doing right now and separate her legs, try to separate her legs, make Joanne's arms work. Yes, and she ends up on top. Oh, what a, what a turnaround in this third and final round. This is a, uh, it surprised me. I think it was more Joanna desperately trying to keep it on the floor that cost her the position. Yeah, she just allowed her, her, her body to go over top of her hips and knees and get forced backwards. But with the submission game that she had on top, I wonder if she can answer with something from the bottom. Yeah, she's definitely looking for an angle. She was underhooking her leg there. Because it's B-class, she doesn't have to worry about being hit in the head, so she can throw out these submissions and um, be aggressive with it from the bottom. But it's difficult when your head is against the cage like that because she can't get the angle she wants. So it might be a good idea to open a guard, make a little bit of space, be brave, and then set the submissions. But she's trying to sneak that left leg over the head of another Alice triangle Stewartson. being set up there. Oh, really she slick set up for that triangle. Held the wrist, pushed the arm away, and set up that triangle. But it's going to be so hard to finish when you're that stacked and you're right against the cage. Yeah, highly stacked, and the the way she wants to lock her feet are pretty much prevented by the cage there, at least momentarily. She's got to reach up with her left hand, try to grab her shin and pull it down. Look at that choke, and she's getting it right now, but she just needs a little bit more of an angle. Oh, Alice Stewartson doing, doing essentially, you know, what your instincts tell you to do, but really slamming herself a little deeper into that triangle. There we go, she's getting that triangle through, feet off, are up the cage. Often when you've got that triangle and you're being stacked like that, you want to walk your shoulders backwards, but that cage is just getting in the way of making it really she's difficult. getting a bit of an angle now. It's all locked up here. Yeah, could be looking at the end Joanne of the fight. Doyle can can hold on to this, maybe pull on the back of the head a bit. She could get this. It's pretty Alan close. Alan Jackson is right Ooh. on top of the action. He's trying to make sure that no. Joanna cinched it even tighter. She just needs to get a little angle. She underhooked Alice's arm. We're seeing arm Alice Stevenson leg. fight like a demon to try to get out of this right now, but it's looking like the stack is giving her just enough space to breathe. Oh, 10, 10 seconds, seconds left will on the last. Oh, I think she, she will. Alice, St Alice Stewartson is a tough girl, and she's... She's fought through all of these submission attempts. A really excellent fight. Joanne Doyle, though, has to be the heavy favorite going in. 
into the judges' scorecards. A little bit of a back and forth between Joanne Doyle and our referee, Alan Jackson, there. I wonder what that was about. Move around a bit more, but a really good showing. And Alice Stewartson, you've gone, you know, all three rounds now. It's going to be not so hard the next time you go around. Just go back to the gym, start maybe establishing a bit more of your takedown defense. And we hope to see you again. Yeah, Joanne Doyle, a really strong showing, a really great example of of jujitsu, both on the, both from the top and from the bottom. Triangles from the mount and triangles from guard. Awesome. So after three great rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. And we have your winner by unanimous decision, the fighter in the red corner. And please make some noise for the winner of Alice Stewartson. How are you feeling after that fight? Very dominant performance with you back then. I feel great. I feel great. Yeah, she's a tough girl, but uh, nice fight out some of the submissions. Yeah, she did really well. Uh, did you have to defeat Hannah Finish a couple of times? Yeah, very close. Couple of times. Okay, I've heard you're a purple rock today, is it? Yeah, purple rock. Purple rock works with choice, by the way. You can tell me about it. Obviously, five, six submissions on the floor. Is that your main area that you train in? Yeah, I was going to do some of the outside, so that's why I don't do it Okay, well, it was a great performance and a great finish. Yeah, just say thank you to my coaches, Max Benjamin, and the fight with Carmen, but I don't know if I'm going to be more of a good, I'm going to be able to do some things, so I think we're going to do some things. Okay, congratulations. One more time, make some noise for your winner. Joanne